colors play a central role in data visualization, but what if your readers are colorblind? According to Colorblind Awareness, colorblindness affects 1 in 12 men and 1 in 200 women. There are an estimated 300 million plus colorblind people in the world, including Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Clinton, and Prince William. Hey everyone, I'm Kyla from Vengage. In today's video, I will break down the different types of colorblindness and also show you how to effectively use colorblind friendly palettes to make your graphics available to a wider range of people. So let's begin. There are several types of colorblindness, and they are generally categorized into three main types. First, deuteron anomaly. This is the most common type of colorblindness where the green photoreceptor is affected. People with deuteron anomaly have difficulty distinguishing between red and green hues. Second, protonomaly. Similar to deuteron anomaly, protonomaly also affects the red-green color perception. In this case, the red photoreceptor is affected. Individuals with protonomaly have difficulty differentiating between red and green colors. Third, tritonomaly. Tritonomaly is a less common type of colorblindness where the blue photoreceptor is affected. People with tritonomaly may have difficulty distinguishing between blue and green colors, as well as between yellow and red colors. In addition to these three main types, there is a more severe form known as dichromacy, where individuals lack one of the three types of color receptors completely. The three subtypes of dichromacy are deuteronopia, protonopia, and tritonopia. Color plays a significant role in data visualization. For starters, colors are used to highlight important information, as well as illustrate relationships between various types of data. Color also plays an instrumental role in guiding the viewer's eye. It can even be used to stimulate emotion through color psychology. Knowing how to pick colors is important, but when you're optimizing for accessibility, there's more to consider than color theory and design composition. If you don't have a pre-planned accessible color scheme, you can generate one for free using Vengage's Accessible Color Palette Generator. Gone are the days of mixing, matching, testing, and retesting to find a beautiful accessible color palette. Now you can use this simple tool to generate inclusive color pairings in seconds for free. Additionally, there are a couple of other measures to ensure colorblind people actually are able to engage with your design, like select colorblind friendly patterns, avoid problematic color combinations, use different textures and patterns to highlight important information, use symbols and icons to supplement color coded messages, warnings and alerts. Use highly contrasted color combinations. Adopt minimalistic design to help avoid unnecessary confusion. Combining all of these elements will make your designs more accessible to colorblind people. After all, the more people that you can engage with, the more impactful your work will be. That's it for today's video. Try using Vengage for free. If you have any questions, comment down below. Make sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next one.